Hi everyone, today I want to show you my new model, the V2 engine. It is presented in two variants, solid and wireframe. You can use this model with or without electronics. There is a dummy plug for that. The appearance remains the same. The basis for this model is this inline 4. They have the same pistons and a similar crankshaft. The cylinder blocks are different. The new one is thinner, which requires less plastic. This is largely due to the new crankshaft mount, which also increases the reliability of the model. This is how it works. For assembly with electronics you will need a motor, a battery holder and a switch. But you can build this model using only printed parts. That's where we start. Let's build these models. Take the block. Insert the crankshaft. Lock it in place with the gear and the plug. Assemble the pistons. Attach the pistons to the crankshaft. Assemble the starter gear. Put on the oil pan. That's it. The full model is ready. But you can also print out this stand. This is what it looks like. If you have electronic parts, take it off the stand. You can leave the pen there. Put the electronics in. It's very simple.
put the wires through the hole. It's easier that way. But if you have connectors, this will be the ideal solution. Also overcomplicating. Attach the motor to the wires. Insert it. Done. Insert the batteries and turn it on. This is how it works. It's very loud, but noticeably quieter than an inline four. You will need sanding and lubrication for quiet operation. Now let us handle in wire version. Attaching the crankshaft. The pistons are assembled in the same way. Attach the pistons to the crankshaft. The model without electronics is ready. You can also place it on a stand. The electronics are assembled also in the same way. Only here uh, the motor is there. You'll also need a rubber band. Here I recommend a motor with less turnover, because it's harder to spin. And also free batteries for more power. Let's put it together and turn it on. This is how it works. I'm also planning to make a thinner version of the inline fork. Do you think it's worth it? I'm also still hoping to find time for the V8 that I originally started this model for. Subscribe so you don't miss out. And thanks for watching everyone.